Hello, Boss Babes and Bosses out there! I really hope na tapos na kayo sa researching phase natin, yung competitive research and market research. But don't worry, if you are still not yet done, just take your time. But I really, really want to check your output. Please don't forget to drop yung competitive research and market research. Because this will be another phase na naman, hindi na to siya sa researching phase. So now, if you are tasked, to handle a company or a brand, you might be wondering what type of social media you should be on. You don't need to be present sa lahat ng mga social media platforms, okay? The platform that you should be on will be based kung nasan always nagahang out yung target market nyo. Yan yung itatakal natin para malaman nyo kung ano talaga yung social media platform na dapat nandun yung brand or company ng client mo. So now, we should talk first what social media is for. There are a lot of things kung para saan talaga ang social media. Iba-iba yung paggamit ng mga tao sa social media. Example, ginagamit ito para pag-express ng thoughts and ng feelings ng isang tao. So, pinupost nila yan or sinishare nila sa social media. The second thing is that sometimes they share or discuss their interest. The third one is yung pag-share ng mga current events. Especially ginagamit din to ng mga government offices by sharing informations and current events din. Ang iba din, nagsishare din ng kanilang lifestyle or their achievements or their events in life. Of course, not to brag but just to share their milestone. Yung ganun, di ba? And tayo naman ng mga friends or nagka-follow, we are also celebrating their wins. Ang iba naman, sinishare nila yung talents nila by sharing live, nagtutugtog sila, or may ginagawa sila, let's say, ng doing it live so that they can also engage with their followers. Yung gano, it just really depends kung ano yung talents or hobbies. Ang iba naman is just really, you know, plainly using the social media to connect with their friends and families. Merong silent Twitter lang. Hindi masyadong mala comment. Hindi masyadong mala post. But, always ginagamit ang social media to get updated sa friends and family nila. Always nakachat, nagka-video call. Ang iba din, ginagamit nila ang social media for their career growth. So they are utilizing the social media to learn more skills or upskills or to, you know, mainly share their knowledge when it comes to a certain subject. And the last but not the least, hindi lang ito lahat, pero ito yung commonly na nakikita ko kung paano natin ninagamit ang social media. The last one is to sell their products and services and most of the people who are doing this are mga business owners or mga entrepreneurs. So with that being said, usually ginagamit ng mga brands or companies or entrepreneurs ang social media because of these goals. First, to create and increase brand awareness. Second is to generate leads. The third one is to improve traffic. The fourth one is to build an active community where ang nasa loob ng community is yung mga target market or yung mga target clients ng company. And last but not least, again, hindi lang ito ang reasons or goals, but ito mostly yung goals why the brands or entrepreneurs or business owners are using social media is to make sales. And I want you to know guys that each social media platform meron siyang specific na purpose. So let's dive in kung ano talaga yung mga purpose nila. So now, the question is, what are the most popular social media platforms? So first talaga is yung Facebook. I would say, you know, hybrid yung Facebook. Ang dami niyang pwede. Maganda siya for long form video content. Maganda din siya for short form video content like reels. Maganda din siya for graphics lang. Like even just the picture. And good din siya even sa text. Kahit text lang, wala kang media na ilalagay. Marami din siyang features. Meron siyang marketplace where you can sell products. And I believe meron din siyang dating section. Dating section. Yeah, nakikita ko. Meron siyang pang date-date din. Pero hindi ko na try, by the way. 
Hindi ko na share. Nakita ko lang. Na, meron din pala silang ganito. Meron din silang page where the business owners, the entrepreneurs can utilize that one to promote their businesses, products, their services, and all, di ba? Meron ding yung personal account mo, gagawin mo na siyang page talaga so that you can be a content creator. It's up to you kung ano yung category na ilalagay mo. Pwede mong ilagay na digital creator ka. Pwede mo ding ilagay na entrepreneur ka. Maraming categories doon na pwede mong ilagay, which is cool, di ba? And then, meron ding for personal lang talaga. Like, you are just using the personal account. And what I really like about Facebook din talaga is yung Facebook group. Kasi dito ka mas makaka-build ng active community ng mga target clients mo, target audience mo, target market mo. And maganda din yung Facebook for live streaming, game streaming, kahit mga recorded videos. Facebook is also doing well din sa ganyan, di ba? And I really believe na marami pang features sa si Facebook na hindi ko na share sa inyo. So what I would say here is that Facebook is really hybrid. Maganda siya sa lahat ng form of content or type of content, no? And yeah, maganda siya for business. So the next naman is yung YouTube. So ang YouTube talaga isa sa top 3 na super popular na social media. So sino ba dito ang hindi nag-watch masyado ng YouTube? I feel like always kayo nag-watch kasi you are watching this video. <laughs> Anyways, so ang YouTube is really good for long form content, yung video. I really feel like YouTube is really dominating sa long form video. And ngayon nag-implement na din sila ng mga short form videos like yung tinatawag nila na YouTube Short. So, nag-implement din sila ng ganyan. And then, meron na din silang pa-community where you can post there kahit text lang or my graphics. Habang tumatagal talaga yung mga social media platforms, nag-iiba talaga or merong na-add na feature, merong mga natatanggal, it's really based kung ano yung performance niya pag na-deploy na nila yung feature. So, if nakita nila na, uy, maganda to na feature sa iba, maraming gumagamit ito sa iba, for example lang ha, yung mga short form video content, as far as I know, kung hindi ako nagkakamila, si TikTok talaga yung unang nag-implement yan. Nakita nila, madaming gumagamit sa TikTok ha, because of this, mas maraming user na yung TikTok. So, they also implemented that one sa ibang social media platforms. Like, they are just copying it. <laughs> so, kinapi ni YouTube na meron din siyang short form, like, tinawag niya YouTube short. And then, ang Facebook din at Instagram, in-implement din yan, tinatawag nilang Reels. And yung ano din, story, I really believe yung story na 24 hours lang makikita. As far as I know, or if hindi ako nagkakamali, if mali ako, please comment it below lang. It's okay lang din naman kung mali ako. Sa pagkakalam ko talaga, ang unang implement yan is yung Snapchat. Tapos ang daming gumamit ng Snapchat because of that. So, now, other social media platforms then are trying to implement that one sa kanilang mga social media platforms. So, meron na ding mga stories yung ibang platforms ngayon. I think, I believe, lahat meron ng stories. Sa YouTube, meron sa Twitter. I'm not sure kung meron sa LinkedIn. Pero Facebook and Instagram for sure meron stories. Yeah, di ba? So, halos meron na lahat. I'm just really sharing with you the most popular ha ng mga social media platforms. If the brand or the company really wants to build a deeper relationship with their target market na mas madali nilang magkuha yung trust, long-form video is the key. What I really like then sa YouTube is that para na din siyang naging search engine. Like, social media platform siya na search engine. Because maganda yung algorithm niya na nakaka-pick up talaga siya ng mga keywords na ginagamit sa title, sa thumbnail, sa description, sa tags, sa hashtags, and all. So, by using keywords na ginagamit ng mga viewers, mas madaling nakikita ng mga target audience yung videos na ginawa mo for your company. Diba? If you're just really using the right keywords, then easy na makikita ng mga target market or target audience mo yung content mo. For free. Organic. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I like sa YouTube kasi good siya for organic. Just really use the right keywords na madali kang ma-research ng audience mo. 
The next one is yung Instagram. So yung Instagram, super napaka-popular din when it comes to visuals then. Kasi more ang mga mala aesthetic yung mga content inside the Instagram account. nag implement na din ang mga bagong features. Ang Instagram, meron na din siyang pa-shop. Pwede ka na din bumili inside sa Instagram, no? Meron na din siyang reels. Pwede ka na din mag-live together with other person. Marami din improvements si Instagram and also good for marketing businesses. Especially if mala creative yung business mo, yung maganda siya in visual. Maganda na magkaroon kayo ng business account inside si Instagram. So the next one is yung TikTok. By the way, yung TikTok is a social media platform pero parang mahuhulog siya na half e-commerce talaga na nagbebenta talaga ng products. Social media platform siya because you can interact with other users, ba? But at the same time, most of the TikTok users are buyers. Most of it then is yung nagsisell. Meron ding naglalive selling, yung ganun. So no, yung parang rank ni TikTok is more ng kakompetitor niya is yung Shopee and Lazada, not the Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. So parang TikTok is heading to more on online app store talaga. I mean, it's both social media and a shop. So that's what I also like then sa TikTok. Na parang iba yung game na pinapasukan niya even though social media siya. Parang it's a unique type of thing of social media. ba? As what I have said earlier na iba't ibang social media platform meron siyang each purpose. If you are selling products or if you are a coach, you are teaching something, you can use that platform to give value to others and build a relationship with your target market and it would be an easy way for you to sell your, let's say, program, your e-course, webinars, something ganun. It would be nice if you will have a TikTok account and you can create content there na mas maiinggan nyo yung mga buyers mo to buy your product kasi mas madali din siyang mag-viral kesa sa ibang social media platforms. The same din siya sa YouTube na mas madali yung organic reach niya. The next one is LinkedIn. Okay, so a lot of you guys already know na, na LinkedIn is like a professional social media platform. So you are correct because it is a career-related platform. So kadalasan na nasa loob ng LinkedIn is yung pinaflex nila, yung work nila, mga improvements nila sa career nila, yung mga ganun. So kadalasan more ang professionals talaga. So if you are a recruitment agency, then LinkedIn would be a good platform for you. So if you are also looking for a job or mga opportunities, LinkedIn is also good for you. And also if you want to expand your professional network, then LinkedIn would be the best. The next one is Twitter naman. So for me, ang Twitter, ito kasi yung fast face, yung content. Like post ka ngayon, like literally a minute ago, wala na. Wala na yung nakakakita sa content mo. Kasi from time to time, so fast talaga yun ang mga nagtitweet. So I guess, good ito sa customer service. Like most of the, the companies that I know, they use Twitter for their customer service. So if yung company mo is looking for a platform na pwede makahandle ng mga customer customers requests or customers queries, complaints, and all, Twitter is also a good platform that they can ask queries about sa business mo. Yan yung parang nakikita ko na doon ang lamang ni Twitter. Parang mas good sila for customer service. So far, to be honest, I really did not handle that much sa Twitter. Meron akong handle na isa. But it's more likely customer service kind of thing lang siya. Hindi talaga siya more on creating content. Meron din akong handle way, way back before. It's also sa Twitter account. Yung ginagawa namin since fast face yung Twitter. So, ang goal namin nun, at least five times kami mag-post sa isang Twitter account every single day. Iba siya na strategy compared sa ibang social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram. Kasi, hindi naman ganoon yung algorithm ni Facebook and Instagram. Iba din yung algorithm ni Twitter kasi pak 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 kula na. <laughs> hindi mo na siya makikita unless if pupunta talaga sila sa profile mo. So, ayun, before yung Twitter namin gumagawa ako ng content 5 tweets per day to know, make sure that our followers can see us posting while they are online sa Twitter. 
then, again, last but not the least, hindi lang to sila ang mga social media platforms, pero ito yung mga most popular platforms. Ang last na i-share ko is yung Pinterest. And the same sila si Instagram. Super visual siya, na kind of platform. And it is also the same with Google search na and YouTube na kasi maganda din yung search engine niya. Like, it's really like also a search engine and you can learn a lot from the pins. So, meron siyang tinatawag na pins. It's a card na pahaba, pa vertical. And when you click that one, lahat ng mga info na you need to do, nakalink yung pin na yan sa isang link where it is really good for traffic. Traffic sa website, if meron kayong website and you are posting a lot of informative and valuable mga information doon, then that would be perfect. Pinterest is really good to improve your traffic and sales. But you have to make sure that your graphic is really good to make it attractive. Because as what I have said nga, maganda ang SEO ni Pinterest. And by using the right keywords, there's a big possibility na makita talaga ang content mo. Those are the platforms no, na most popular talaga. And pwede yung gamitin to promote the business of your client. And maybe your business. So, sa challenge na ito, isa lang yung assignment niyo. And that is to pick one social media platform na gagamitin niyo to handle your client's business or your own business. It really depends kung ano yung nilagay niyo na business doon sa lesson 2, di ba? Pinapick ko kayo kung ano yung business na i-handle niyo for this challenge. Pick one lang kung saan niyo siya ilalagay sa mga sinabi ko ng mga social media platforms. And yeah, that's only the challenge for today. Yan lang yung assignment. Nyo. Just pick one. But if you like to have at least two or more, you can do that. You can cross post the content that you are going to do. And for example, you are doing content for your Facebook and you will just cross post it sa Instagram. That would be good. Pero isa lang yung nare-require namin. Kasi yan yung check namin. Isa lang yung check namin to make sure that you are really doing what we ask you to do. Okay? And don't forget to comment sa loob ng Facebook group natin. Sa private and public yung napili niya na platform for the business that you are handling and comment dito sa baba sa video na to, done if nagawa niya na. I really really hope that you are still following this challenge and I'm pumped to see all your output bosses. Nahahappy talaga ako pag nakakakita ko ng output. It means you are applying what you have learned. So, yeah, if this is the first time that you watch this video, this is an e-course series pala. So, this is already the lesson 5. You can watch the whole series. Just click the link below for the playlist. And start kung ano talaga yung start. Mas maganda mag-start ka talaga sa start. So, yeah, if you like this content and you want to join this challenge, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. I'm ready to boss up for public and becoming a social media manager, a boss up challenge for the private group, and like our Facebook page at bossupth, and follow us on our Instagram accounts at Brixui and at bossupth. So yeah, hope to see you guys on our next challenge. Bye!